Imagine creating an AI agent that scrapes YouTube, finds the most trending videos in your niche and gives it back to you within seconds. Further, it also tells you what kind of videos you should create so that the video gets more trending. Now imagine selling this to content creators by creating a simple app, how much money you can make with it. In this video, I'll show you how to create this automation with N810. I'll also provide you the template and I'll show you exactly what each node is meant for. But if you want all this data, you need to watch this video completely so that you know how to get all these amazing stuff. Let's get started. So we'll start our workflow with the chat message receive trigger. Uh, how you can get it is click here and then write chat trigger. You'll get this one. Uh, we're connecting this to, to our AI agent, uh, which is using chat Chibri right now. How to get this is click here and type AI agent and you'll get this module. This is the brain of our automation. So this is extremely, extremely important. Uh, we're using chat GPT. We're using chat GPT for O mini right now uh, because it's cheapest and it provides amazing results. That's what we're doing. This is a window buffer memory. So this will remember all our messages like till, till five interactions that we'll have with it. And then this is a module. Uh, this is a different workflow that we're calling in this one. How this works is, uh, if you write here, call, so call and in workflow tool. Uh, so for this automation, we need two workflows. This is our first workflow. We have created one more, this, which is this one. We want the data from this workflow to come inside this AI agent so that uh, it finds and gives us the result. And that's why we're calling it through a different workflow. Uh, how, how we've set up is uh, this is the name uh, naming your tools is extremely extremely important because that's how you define them in your AI agent right now we we're saying the description call this tool to search for trending videos based on a query right what does this mean uh, our AI agent which is this this is going to understand that he has to call this tool right here and what's the purpose of this tool the purpose of this tool is to do this now uh, this is a very small, simple example we have kept, which is picking up search term and then any value that we give out uh, is what this is saying. And now the main part, which is uh, the system message. This is the brain. Uh, this is uh, this is what we are telling it to do. Uh, you help YouTube creators find trending videos based on specific niche. Uh, so whatever you type in the chat, that becomes a specific niche for the YouTuber. You can read this whole data. Uh, if I start reading it, it will take a lot more time, but you can copy this data in your own workflows. We'll, we'll move on to the next workflow, which is this one. If you're wondering how can you how, how you can get all these templates, uh, you can join my school community. It's a very new community. I've recently created it, but this is the uh, personal AI agent that I've recently created and I've shared here. Uh, I'll leave the video here so you can definitely watch that. But what I'm doing here is... Uh, because I understand uh, people are beginners and beginners do not understand what each node means. What uh, are we even doing there? So this is the template for personal assistant. And this is the step-by-step -step explanation of each and every node that I've used in that particular uh, automation. Uh, what's the purpose of it? How to set it up? Everything is coming up with this. There is no one else doing this. So I think uh, this, this is going to be a huge help for people. I'm going to do the same thing for this automation also so that you understand why each node is being utilized. I'll leave the link to school community down below. Definitely join it if you want to but yes uh, this is the workflow trigger uh, so we've used defined using fields below we have three options here uh, we're using it based on the query how do we get it once we run this data i'll show you how we are getting it now this is a youtube api that we are using how how to get this youtube api console.cloud.google and uh, you'll write youtube here once you write that you'll get YouTube data API v3 uh, you'll get an option to uh, enable here so enable it and then uh, you'll be able to use it now uh, we'll go back after, after you enable it click on manage uh, once you do uh, click on manage you'll come up the credential side of it uh, create new credentials uh, oath credential which will give you client ID and client password you need to copy that client ID and client password and then uh, paste it right here and this will get you uh, connected to the Google once you do that, uh, we, are, we, are, we are having a limit of three. Why? Because uh, YouTube APIs have limits, so we don't want to take it to a different extent. Uh, so that's why we have kept it to three. So this means it will take three videos uh, in the trending section and give the data based on that. You can increase it to five, ten, whatever you want. Uh, this is uh, the date it is telling us uh, the published date. And then uh, it's basically the simple query search term which is coming from here. Whatever query you're going to input here, uh, that's what this is picking up. Now, once you do that, it is going to come up here, a loop over items. This means that it needs to take uh, videos batch by batch, one by one, right? So if it's taking three videos, 
it will take the first one and second and third and transfer it to this find video data now what this will do is this will take all the better data of a video and show it to you for the analyzing purposes how will you get this uh, same method click on api key here and you'll be able to create your api key once you create your api key just paste it right here uh, this is the video id Th that's all you need to do here once you do that, this gets transferred to this section if longer than three. What this is doing is if a video is more than three minutes, it's going to take it back to this loop so that uh, our find video data can reanalyze it. So it's going to uh, analyze it in three minutes section. First three minutes and three minutes and three minutes, right? If it's less than three minutes, it will not uh, let it go back to loop over items. It will directly transfer it to group data. Now, uh, once it moves from the group data, group data is uh, where we are structuring our, our whole YouTube data uh, based on title, based on description. This is where it's getting structured. Once it's structured, it gets saved inside the memory. Once it gets saved inside the memory, it goes back to the loop over items and then goes into retrieve data from memory. What's the use of it? Now, let's say you have uh, talked about what's it trending, uh, what's trending in N810, right? It gives you some data. Now, that data is stored here. If you ask it again, it will now give you the new results rather than giving you the same data again and again. So this ensures that it builds up on what it has given you rather than giving you the stale data back to back. Once it does that, the response goes over and you get the response right here in the chat message received. Now I'll quickly run this module once so that you understand how this is running. Let's see. So now it's going to run, it's going to check open AI and then it's going to give us some prompt. Uh, it's going to ask maybe what kind of niche you're looking for. Once you do that, it runs back and now it's going to go into this YouTube search. Oh, we're getting some kind of error. Let's have a look. Uh, so we're getting some kind of error here. We'll go to executions and this will show us all the errors. Uh, we don't have this node anymore. Uh, I think we need to save this. Let's, let's retry this. Uh, so even if it fails, it has a fallback that even if uh, you're not able to search the YouTube, uh, go back to ChatGPT and give users some kind of response to help them out. So we'll wait for it to complete. Right. So it says based on recent trending videos, here is a snapshot of what ca what's capturing attention. Uh, these are what's basically as for ChatGPT is capturing attention, but we can say, can you retry? So let's see what happens now. So it perfectly went ahead. Now, what's going on here is we'll go to the execution tab right here and uh, it has executed correctly. Now, you can see these are the results that we are getting. Okay. So this is picking up all the channel ID, title, description, right? So YouTube is getting all this data. Once it gets this data, it's sending this data to this uh, to, to batch it out in one by one phase. Then it goes into this find video data one, which is uh, you can see it's it's making it in a much structured format and it's giving out all the data. Uh, it's capturing all the metadata of that particular video. If it's more than uh, three seconds, or uh, three minutes, sorry, it goes back into this loop. Otherwise, we're taking it in group data one, which is which has made it so much better for us to understand uh, what's the ID, what's the view count, what's the like count, right? So this is how it's finding what video is viral, what video is not. Then it saves it in the memory and uh, it's again retrieving and it's sending out the response back to the uh, bot, which is this one. So right now, uh, these are the things that are basically trending. It's also giving you the links. You can uh, click on here and it will come up to a video. I don't want to uh, run it. But yes, that's how uh, this agent is going to work. Now you can ask it, uh, what video should I create to make it trending? Let me create the spelling here. It's going to think back again and it's going to give you the results. So now see, it, it, it has given you how to create faceless YouTube channel using AI tools. Uh, it's giving you the reasons uh, again why you should do it and that's how basically this works uh, you can easily find the training videos out uh, imagine how how useful this will be for content creators um, and specifically for new beginner content creators uh, they'll be able to use it in an amazing amazing way so i hope you enjoyed this videos all these templates will be in my school community so definitely uh, check it out the link is down below and subscribe to this channel thank you